field has been ploughed and I'm 99% sure the footpath goes straight across it so it's really muddy after the rain yesterday. So I just realised that if I instead of turning left down London Lane going through all that muddy field and getting my feet absolutely covered in mud if I had sort of carried on that footpath would have brought me out right near the church which is what I was aiming for Oh well that is not the way Guided walks by Don Egan how to get yourself lost in Suffolk in one easy lesson Walking on He's the walking man Good morning and welcome to Walks and Wonders. In today's walk I'm heading out of Stowmarket over to Harleston and here's voiceover man with the route. Yes voiceover man here. Unfortunately the brain of Britain there got lost so many times that this actually really isn't very much like the route at all. So if you're local, just for reference, I'm starting at the bottom of Chilton Way, walking up to the houses on the new estate at Northfield View, I think it's called. And I'm going to go along the edge of the A14 for a little while and then turn into open countryside. Whenever I come to the edge of Stowmark, it always turned into me dad and started thinking, I remember when this was all fields. And I can remember when it was all fields, you know, up at the Tesco estate and over this side is Chilton Hall expense. Now we have to walk a little bit further just to get out into the countryside, but we are going to get there and it will be worth it. Come to the end of the tarmac here, at the junction with Shepherd's Lane, which I remember as an old little track. It's now tarmac, got houses down one side, and the tarmac ends, and then we get this little dirt track that goes along the side of the A14. It may be a little bit noisy for a while, and uh, somewhere up there, I believe there's a footpath to turn left, and then we'll carry on with a walk. <laughs> To actually confess I haven't done this walk before I'm making it as go along um, it looks like there's a footpath across there but I thought the footpath was uh, adjacent to the A14 um, let's pop my phone onto the screen here for you so you can see what I'm looking at 
Uh, yeah, the blue blob there in the middle tells me that uh, the footpath is straight along this fence line here, uh, not across, uh, not diagonally across the field. Then you can see just a bit further along here, there's a left turn, which is where we want to go, I think. I'm trying to get into Harlesden Church, and there's a couple of interesting place names down here. Right, let's go. So this is a great walk to get away from all the noise and all the traffic. Get away from the stresses of modern life. On this almost silent, gentle walk in the countryside. So we come to the end of this track here. I think the path turns left here just before that green uh, A14 sign. So you can see we're coming to uh, this junction here with Lubberlaw Field and just in the distance Gallows Field there. I wonder what the history behind that is. I wonder if voiceover man knows why it's called Gallows Field. I do indeed. Yes, there was a Gallows in Gallows Field and people were executed there. At one time Britain had the death penalty for even petty crimes such as stealing a loaf of bread. Eventually the death penalty was only used for more serious crimes such as murder. The atmosphere on the day of hanging may have been like that of an annual fairground with food sellers and sideshows before the main event of execution. A grim history of these now most pleasant fields. I wonder if the gallows is where that lone wind turbine was. Yeah, we're going to turn left here and head up towards London Lane. And I wonder why it's called London Lane as well. Okay, so finally on this walk for the first time, we're actually getting away from the traffic noise. Still there a little bit, but we're now we're going what I think is across open fields. As I said, I'm making this walk up as I go along. There are a couple of graves I want to explore in Halston Churchyard. Uh, hopefully, somewhere up here we will find the path that brings us to the church. So I've just come to this corner in the field and the uh, the ditch around the field turns right down here. Uh, but according to the footpath, the footpath goes straight across the field. So I think the farmer has ploughed right across the footpath, which um, I think if they do that, it's supposed to reinstate the footpath. However, it looks like we follow the ditch round the edge, we come back to the footpath anyway. So I'm going to do that. It's really important to keep these footpaths open and accessible because they will disappear if we don't sort of keep them open as rights of way. And the other tricky thing now is Technically, I'm trespassing because I'm not on a public footpath, but the public footpath is out in the field there. Uh, but it's been covered over by the farmer, so not sure how I feel about that. I think this does bring us back onto the footpath, so we'll find out in a minute. I've actually spotted Halston Church, which is where I'm heading on the horizon there, so I'm going to kind of follow the footpaths and take the one that leads over in that direction. Well, this is quite annoying. I don't know if it's just the time of year. Uh, <laughs> this field has been ploughed and I'm 99% sure the footpath goes, goes straight across it, so it's really muddy after the rain yesterday. But I'm going to take the public footpath and I'll probably have mud platforms. Oh yeah, actually can see other walkers have come this way. I'm guessing this tractor line across the field is a vain attempt to uh, reinstate the footpath, but it is a footpath across the muddy field. So, there we go. <laughs> Uh, 
Only going local, I thought. Don't need the actual walking boots. Just the walking shoes will do. It'll just be field edges, blah, blah, blah. So seriously muddy. Just pop that on the screen there. So you can see I was right, that is definitely the footpath. I just carry on ahead, which is uh, seriously muddy at the beginning, but it looks like it settles down a bit up there. But also, uh, looks like on um, Google Maps, we come near to Gallows Lane. So there's definitely a Gallows theme going on there. This should hopefully bring us out onto the tarmac road that goes up to Halston Church. Lovely, lovely. Right. Well, I think we get on firmer ground up here. And carry on yeah just come on the concrete path here and this lane down here is known as gallows lane got the lone wind turbine there this is london lane and again i'm not sure the origins of that name either a special welcome and thank you to all new subscribers very much appreciate all my subscribers I do have a vague goal of trying to get to a thousand subscribers just because if you reach that number it's like unlocking another level on YouTube and uh, more things are possible so thank you and of course if you're not already a subscriber to this channel please consider hitting the red subscribe button and click the little bell icon and you'll get notifications of new videos and that really helps me and I appreciate that very much. Now onward to Halston Church. To the road and we're turning left towards the church past this uh, little junction here that I think goes to Shelland we're going left and then follow the road round to the left to get to Halston Church <laughs> I just realised that if I, instead of turning left down London Lane, going through all that muddy field and getting my feet absolutely covered in mud, if I just sort of carried on towards where it says Oak Pollard in that direction and then turn right, that footpath would have brought me out right near the church, which is what I was aiming for. Oh well, I'll have to try that way another day. We've we'll come this way now. At least now I've got the walking map on the phone. I don't quite get as lost as we used to, as I've got no sense of direction without a map and preferably an app really these days. Anyway, the church and the grave markers I've come to see are just down here, I think. <laughs> Yeah, there's a footpath sign here. I'm guessing if I'd have gone that alternative route I mentioned, it would have brought me out here. It all looks quite muddy, but it's just it was so wet all day yesterday and the day before. So maybe it wouldn't have been any less muddy. Anyway, here's the judge.
Yeah, this is a sad story of these five metal grave markers here. All from the same family, absolutely tragic. Apparently all taken by diphtheria within a few weeks of each other. It's hard to imagine, isn't it, that Charles and Mary Armstrong lost five of their children in a single year. So it really made me wonder, were these five all their children? Did they lose all their children? Or were there other children that didn't die? So I went online to look for the census. I found the Armstrong family on the 1891 census. They began the year with seven children. After the local diphtheria outbreak, they ended the year with just two children, Oliver, age 16, and Sydney, age 9. Charles Armstrong was a local registrar, so he would have recorded the deaths of his own children. He was also a carpenter, and we can only wonder if he also constructed the coffins for his children. A heartbreaking story. It's actually quite mind-boggling. I do wonder what happened to the family after this tragedy, to their mental health, to their family life. The fact is we lost a little child back in 1987. A little boy died just before his third birthday, and that was totally, totally devastating. And I know you can't compare grief. Everybody's grief is different. But to lose five children in a single year to a horrible, horrible disease, I just can't imagine what happened to that family. I've just come out of the churchyard the same way as I went in and turning immediately left and I think this is a footpath that goes over to Northfield Woods near One House. We'll find out I guess. Or is that it there? No, I think may have gone wrong here. Let's go back to the church gate I think the footpath may be this little lane here yes by the look of the uh, walking map it is this little green lane that heads towards the hall probably should have come and uh, investigate the walk before I filmed it really but anyway you can find the adventures with me on here Let's see where we get to oh well that is not the way that's definitely not the way let's go back It's not towards the hole. <laughs> Come back, map. So it's not very well signposted at all. Is it this way then? What are this? But then there's no. Seems to be long here. Oh, I think I was right the first time. Just come out of the church and turn left and stick against that hedge. Oh, I've slightly gone wrong here. But according to my little blue blob, I'm correcting everything now. Yeah, the, uh, the little blobs seem to go in a different direction. So that's the GPS. Yeah, I just came out of the church, turn left on what looks more like a footpath to this little wooden bridge, I'm guessing. Across that little wooden bridge, 
and then straight down this green lane and then is this good content for YouTube? some old bloke getting lost in Suffolk anyway let's see where we get to shall we I'm going to oops switch that off there I just come around a little bend there the gate there which I don't think is a footpath it looks like the footpath is this little place here yeah so just come across another little wooden bridge there to chat with a couple who were uh, reassure me this is the way to where I'm going so the chaos of this walk reveals that what I normally do is do the walk without the camera first so I know where I'm going and then do the walk with the camera and look confident as though I know what I'm talking about but for some reason today because it's been a while since I made a video I thought you could come with me on the initial walk of exploration and you could see the usual chaos I get myself into anyway let's get the old map up here I think the gentleman I just spoke to said follow the laurel hedge let's have a look so we're on there yeah where the words green farm are I think just go through the R of green and follow that footpath there and see where we get to and that chap says just keep down the edge of the laurel hedge I think that's laurel I don't know where Hardy is but uh, maybe I'm Hardy it's enough chaos in this video to qualify as Laurel and Hardy. Oh, no. A footpath gate, hang on a minute. Let me insult the map. No, I think we just carry on here. Guided walks by Don Egan, how to get yourself lost in Suffolk in one easy lesson oh god could this walk go any more wrong <laughs> as you can see we're back at the church the walk I was trying to do you can get that way and walk through one house back into Stone Market that wasn't what I was trying to do at all so if you want to do that yes get down that way but what I was trying to do was get to Northfield Woods so what I'm going to do to go back down the church drive along the road a bit and then there's a footpath that will take us to Northfield Woods hopefully hopefully we won't get lost again yes welcome to Walks and Wonders the chaotic video channel of the century anyway the good thing is the weather's dry a little bit of sun and blue skies out we've got lovely countryside to walk through so why not extend your walk a little bit get more exercise it's all good So as you saw we came out of the churchyard just down there walked along here a bit you see a little footpath sign here and we're going to go across yet another muddy field but I don't think even this could be as muddy as the that field over to London Lane although might be who knows Yeah, what I was trying to do was uh, cut across this footpath here and get over to 
Northfield Wood and then we've had a nice little circular mostly off-road basically you just come down this footpath a little bit till you come to Northfield Woods on the right hand side and we'll cut through there to the pauper's graves and then we'll be more or less back in Stone Market <laughs> So as you come down here you'll see the entrance to Northfield Woods just over there and that's where we're going to go just now. Having a bit of trouble here getting my sylph like body. <laughs> Look at this little gate. Go and do it. Come in backwards, will that do it? A ripped jacket and everything. I think that gate may be a little tight. Bad design, because if sylph like people like me can't get through it, what hope do the larger boned people have? Right, we're in Northfield Woods now, so we're walking down there a bit. So I'll just pop my phone on the screen again so you can see where we are. And what we want to do somewhere up here oh yeah just carry on straight down here for a bit into the wood basically heading for where that red dot is actually and we are the blue dot you walk up from where those people are and we'll come to a little boardwalk here and we want to go down there and it forks but we want to keep to the right It's a left turn and a kind of straight on and right turn and I think it's the uh, slightly bearing right is what you want to do. Probably both get you to the same place in the end but I think this is the most direct route. Although, let's just check on here. Uh, no, that's not right. Back to the boardwalk and turn left. I think is what we need to do. Trying to get over to the Chilton Lays side of the wood. Hope you're finding this easy to follow. Absolutely straightforward with my ultra clear directions. Yeah, so that's the boardwalk there. So you come off there and turn left down here. I think. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I just think we stay on this track. I think I can see light at the end of the tunnel. And this should bring us out onto the stone market side of the woods on the track down to Chilton Lays.
Yep, so you come to this gate that leads out to the outside of the woods, which is what we want. Hopefully this gate is not as tight as the last one. We're about to find out. No, not quite as bad. Do with another few inches. That's what she said. Just walk around the edge of the woods here to Chilton Layers and it'll bring us out on the one house road and we'll cut through to the pauper's graves. So as we turn the corner there, what we want to do now is just go around this field of crops over to that sort of barn shelter thing over there. Just follow the edge of the field basically. So you'll come to this sort of uh, barn shelter thing. We want to keep right over here and follow this track round to the one house road. They come to the one house road here, one house is that way, stone markets that way and Rattleston and all that. And we're going to take this little path here that goes round to the pauper's graves. Yeah, you'll come to the entrance of the pauper's graves area if you don't know about the pauper's graves i'll leave a link to my video about that at the workhouse in the description below or i'll pop it on the screen up here so you come to chilton sports field here chilton way just ahead so you're back in town so i'm going to leave thanks for watching today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up on youtube Hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.